Hello everyone. Welcome to Reflections IS Academy. In this video, we will try to see 10 most powerful incarnations of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, which every civil services aspirant should know. Let's see the first incarnation. Chairman of the drafting committee of the Indian Constitution. We all very well know the kind of contribution Dr. B. R. Ambedkar has given to Indian Constitution. Second important incarnation, he is a staunch advocate of Dalit rights. He himself has faced social exclusion throughout his life and he has stood up against this discrimination and he fought for the rights of the Dalit throughout his life. He is not just a proponent of advocate of Dalit rights, but he is also an advocate of social equality. He challenged all forms of discrimination not only discrimination against Dalits, discrimination against any forms of marginalized communities. It could be minorities, it could be tribals, it could be women. So it is not just Dalits, it's against all the marginalized communities and the social inequalities which they are suffering from. He is also an economic thinker. He has substantially contributed to the economic policy of our country. He has published innumerable number of articles and textbooks on economic principles. Of course, his ideas on taxation, his ideas on economic planning, his ideas on land reform, it's not an exaggeration to say are relevant even today. He is not only a political reformer, he is also a politician. He has risen and he has stood for the Dalits and he is the voice of the marginalized community. He is instrumental in the formation of scheduled caste federation. He himself has established independent labor party so in this way, he has contributed substantially to the political arena. Of course, he also has become the first law minister of India, which you all must be already aware of. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar also is an advocate of women's rights. He worked for the emancipation of women. He demanded for the education of women and several other rights of the women. He is a feminist in his own perspective and has advocated for the rights, upliftment and empowerment of the women during his time. It's Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is a staunch critic of Hinduism, especially the Hinduism in its oppressive form. The Hinduism in its oppressive form, I repeat, has discriminated Dalits for centuries, which was vehemently opposed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, and he himself has converted to Buddhism as a sign of protest. He popularly said, I am born as a Hindu, but I am not going to die as a Hindu. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is an internationalist. He is an internationalist. He has international vision. He has a global vision. During that time itself, he is a global leader. He called for international cooperation to fight global issues. And of course, he has actively participated in several international organizations, including League of Nations at that point of time. Maybe there are people who say that Indian foreign policy would have been different had B.R. Ambedkar played a more active role in India's foreign policy. Last but not least, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar is also an anthropologist, is also a sociologist. During his Columbia University days, and he has actively participated along with several anthropologists. In fact, there is no other anthropologist or sociologist who has done as much extensive studies as Ambedkar has done on caste system in India, that too in an instrumental way, that too as an advocate, advocate of rights of the Dalits and other oppressed communities. So in this manner, he can also be considered as an anthropologist and also a socialist. So these are some of the most powerful incarnations which we can consider Dr. B. R. Ambedkar has displayed throughout his life. Thank you so much.